Now I've reshelled my Joy-Con controllers quite a few times now. The Pro Controller as well, actually, now I think about it. But I am always on the lookout for some uh, different looking or, or shells that are a bit more creative or something to it other than just changing the color of the Joy-Con while, while there's some really cool ones out there and they keep adding more. Uh, I am interested in different coatings, I guess, of the Joy-Con itself. Uh, and I actually found one that was kind of interesting. I haven't tried it out yet, so we're gonna put it together here today. Um, but that is the Extreme Rate Soft Touch Joy-Con Shell. Now, this would be something that feels a bit more, uh, they say I mean, soft, obviously, but I guess just a bit more grippy in your hand. Now, I was going to reshell the translucent Joy-Con controllers that I have, the one that has like a D-pad on it. I did these a long time ago. And while the D-pad is a cool addition, it's not the best D-pad ever, obviously, because it's just going over the buttons that are already there. Uh, but the the grip on the just the bare plastic itself has uh, become not as good. Like it's it it does slide around your hands a bit. And I was looking for something that's a bit more comfortable to hold if I want to use these. So when I saw these, I figured it'd be a good opportunity to reshell them. Now, I don't believe these have a D-pad, so I will be giving up the D-pad itself. But I, I am kind of looking for a better D-pad anyway, so it won't be the biggest loss ever. Again, I think this is a step up from the, from the, the separate buttons but not like by a ton or anything. So I'll get you guys overhead here and we'll go through them uh, together very quickly and see how they feel and impressions and everything on them. I'll also leave a link to this down below. I got it off Amazon, I think for the pair and it comes with like all the different buttons and everything and uh, screwdrivers. I think it was about $24 prime shipped. So it got here in, uh, in a day or two. It was pretty quick. All right, so these are extreme rate Joy-Con shells. Let's go ahead and open these guys up. So it's fully packaged, it's just this cardboard box, it's nothing fancy or anything. And then inside, there don't appear to be any instructions or anything, but they do have quite a bit of stuff here. So they have, it looks like all the different screws you would need, all of the buttons kind of in this like plastic setup here, kind of holding it all together. So I guess you gotta pop these out. Uh, I believe these are still using the stock buttons from uh, the Switch, the other Joy-Con controller that I reshelled. I believe these are still the stock buttons that I kept in. So I'll probably stick with the stock buttons, but it's, it's good to know that they do have uh, buttons to replace. I guess I will need these, actually now I think about it, I will need the, the separate buttons here for uh, the left Joy-Con because I replaced it with a D-pad and I don't know where I actually put those buttons. So there you go. Um, I'll just change those out. I guess if you do a D-pad mod on your Joy-Con and then you want to change it back, just make sure you keep these in like a plastic bag or something. So I will at least be using those ones. Looks like it even comes with uh, the shoulder buttons and yeah, ZR, ZL are all there. And then they actually put everything, all the screws in like this nice little Ziploc bag. They didn't separate them. So you're gonna wanna make sure you're using the right ones. But again, I, I have all of my screws here. I'll probably replace the back ones. Those would be the ones that are replaced. And then it comes with, it looks like uh, drivers that you would need. One should be a Phillips head and the other one should be, yes. Okay, so we have one that's like the tri-wing driver. And then we have one that is our Phillips head driver. They're both fairly sharp and they feel kind of, they feel pretty sturdy. I don't really like the smaller handle ones. I like the ones that have bigger handles to them. So it's easier to grip, get more uh, leverage and everything on them. But these should at least work if you just want an entire kit and not have to worry about ordering drivers or anything, you know, to go along with it. This looks like it'll work. And you can, of course, use this tri-wing for other things, whether it's uh, like, a, like a Wii that you have to open or most of Nintendo systems nowadays, or like a handheld, of course, like say, uh, I, I guess you could use it on um, a DS Lite or anything like that. This should work fine. I guess we'll also just quickly see how these look. Uh, yeah, so they do, okay, yes, this has kind of like a, yeah, it's like a very, it's a, it's a soft touch. It, it feels soft compared to this, obviously, where it's like a hard plastic. This is like a coating that feels, it feels fairly soft. It's, it's not as, it's softer, I would say, than a stock Joy-Con. You know how that has like, a, it, it's kind of like this weird texture of plastic. It's not hard plastic, it's a little bit softer. Kind of hard to describe, I guess, but yes, this has a, a pretty nice feel, actually. Let me see how this would feel like. It has a pretty good feel, actually. It is a bit slippery, I, I will admit. It's not uh, like 
the best grip, but it's definitely, I think, better than something like this. This is a bit more harsh with the standard, just straight up naked plastic. This feels a bit better. So I'm actually excited to get this uh, all put in. This is like, looks like a bit more of just a straight black. And I guess I will have to use that considering I'm using a translucent orange one there uh, overall. So I guess I'll have to change those back buttons out as well, but not a big deal. We'll do that also. So I guess now we'll start getting these guys apart uh, and then we'll install everything. All right, so we have our right Joy-Con controller done. Uh, it's all red now. It looks, it does look nice. It has kind of this, uh, a bit of a, like a shininess to it. And it feels like, I guess if I had kind of like a, a, like a velvet almost, just a lot lighter when it comes to that kind of a feel, but it looks nice. I actually like the red a lot. Like the red looks really cool. Um, overall, not too bad to get together. I still have to do the left Joy-Con, and then we'll uh, we'll play a little bit of the Switch with them, and I'll give you some impressions on how they feel. Okay, so the red controllers are all done. They're right here. I also went ahead and grabbed the neon controllers, the uh, the neon red and blue, and then just the standard gray Switch Joy-Con controller. So you kind of get an idea of the shade. I guess it would be easier to tell against something like this, right? But you can see it's, it's a much deeper, like, red overall. Uh, I, I like the look of it. Uh, it's It looks really, really nice. It has kind of like this, almost like this metallic kind of hue to it, kind of. Like, it's it's... It feels kind of velvety, it's soft touch, uh, softer than even like this, for example. This has a bit of a soft touch to it. This is softer. Um, and I actually like the feel of it, I like the look, and the kit went together fairly well. Uh, sometimes you'll get like third-party Joy-Con shells and they don't quite fit that well, or they don't really feel like they are like a, like a first-party plastic or accessory. This, I th and maybe it's the soft touch, this feels much closer to uh, to something like this than even like the, like I have the white shells, for example, or something like that, uh, that aren't just uh, clear plastic like these were. And this still feels a little closer. I think these are just newer shells. So maybe as they continue to make more and more of these, uh, not just this company, but other companies, they will, uh, maybe they'll start just becoming closer and closer to some of these first party ones. The gray kind of has a similar feeling, but it, it's still just a bit, I guess the, the word would be smoother almost. It's it's interesting. It's an interesting feeling, um, but I do I do like it. I like the red. I like the look of it, and I like the feeling. And it did go together okay. I would recommend you could technically do everything straight up, and it comes with uh, of course extra bumpers, uh, the triggers on the back, and uh, I would 
I would recommend at least getting some thin tweezers. That will help with some of the ribbon cables that are hard to reach, and maybe even a curved head set of tweezers. Though That's like the one accessory I would recommend. The drivers are okay, but the tri-tipped part is a little too sharp, I think, and it might strip some of the screws a little too easily. So I would actually recommend looking into your own, uh, like just overall larger size tri-tip driver. You're gonna use it a lot if you're gonna change out Joy-Con shells here and there, and it'll also work on other systems and everything. Uh, the, the Phillips head worked a bit better. I think this was all right. Again, though, I would get more of a precision one that you can use for yourself that'll last, you know, forever for the most part. These are still kind of cheap, so I would just, just a recommendation. You know, they're not hard to find. I can even leave a little kit down in the link for you guys from Amazon that uh, I would use uh, for this. And they're not expensive. You can get a full kit for like 10 or 15 bucks for like everything and it comes with a nice bag and all of that. Now, as for on the Switch, I think it still looks pretty good on there. You get like this nice red. I'll even get you guys some nice, just straight up shots of it. Uh, but it has a nice, has a nice red to it. I like it. I do, I, I like the look of this. Um, it fits fine, it's flush on the back without too much issue there. Sometimes these third party shells will stick out a bit. That's flush, it feels good holding it. Um, I'll actually update that later. These are older controllers, once we can update them. Um, but it looks, I think it looks pretty good. Yeah, so not a bad, not a bad pickup here with these shells. And I definitely like these more. I, I do kind of miss the ability to have a D-pad, but we're not to that point yet where D-pads are available from first party with Nintendo. Hopefully one day we will have one introduced to us and then we can get a really cool shell with, uh, with the D-pad there from Nintendo from a first party perspective. That's something I would like to see them do. Obviously we keep asking for it. A left Joy-Con that we can just buy separately uh, in stores that has a D-pad just because, just as an option that we would want. And that is gonna do it for the extreme rate soft touch Joy-Con shells, the red ones. I like them, I think they're really cool to have. Um, they have a good feeling to them, and again, I like the red. I think there's also white and wood grain, I think, uh, that you can also get in soft touch form. It's on Amazon, like I said, Prime shipped and everything, and pretty cool looking. I do like that we are to a point now where like all the stuff is being customized with new shells and everything. It's really, really cool, and I look forward to see, what, I guess, what else they'll do. I didn't even really think of soft touch Joy-Con shells, so that's kind of neat. But let me know what you guys think about these uh, down below, and maybe you've reshelled your Joy-Con controller multiple times, like I have at this point, and if you picked out any really cool colors yourself, or different materials, or maybe one's shells that I've missed that you want uh, me to check out. Thanks guys for watching, make sure you like the video if you liked it, dislike it, if not, and I'll see you next time.